The French Bulldog is one of the most popular companion dog breeds in the world, which is hardly surprising. Their sweet and humorous nature is nearly impossible to resist, and their small size makes them ideal apartment dogs, and yet they are not the best fit for everyone. In today's video, we're going to talk about the five main reasons why you should not be getting a French Bulldog. Welcome back to the Fenrir French Bulldog Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist, and I'm the founder and CEO of FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly ever want to know about the amazing little French Bulldog, then how to become a high-level canine leader that can raise perfect French Bulldog companions. So if you're a lifelong French Bulldog lover or just getting your very first French Bulldog puppy, I promise you this channel is for you. So start your journey by hitting that subscribe button and turn on the notifications notification bell so that you never miss a future French Bulldog video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll get started with the first important reason why you should not be getting a French Bulldog. And that is that Frenchies absolutely need your company. French Bulldogs are extremely affectionate little dogs and love nothing more than spending as much time with their owners as possible. They do not just prefer you being around, they actually need your company to stay healthy. Left by themselves all day, French Bulldogs very well might separate to get, uh, develop severe separation anxiety, which is in turn may lead to them becoming very destructive around the home. Severe separation anxiety can also cause a number of health problems. For this reason, if you're not able to be around for the best part of the day, then you should not be really considering getting a French Bulldog. That does not mean that you should never be getting one of these kind-hearted little fellows into your life. It just means that you will have to make some adjustments before you do so. For example, you could arrange for at least one family member to be home during the day, or maybe if you do have to go out to work, you could arrange to be able to take your dog into work with you, be able to come home from work halfway through the day, have some time working from home, take your dog to doggy daycare, get a local dog walker to come and help you out. There's lots of different things that you can do to help maintain and stay on top of that separation anxiety that so often plagues this fantastic little breed. Now, the reason at number four is that Frenchies are not a healthy breed. It is not only separation anxiety that can cause health issues in your French Bulldog. Due to those compact heads, short muzzles, and very flat faces, the breed is extremely prone to the issue called brassiophallic obstructive airway syndrome. This means that their ability to breathe normally is obstructed by their unnatural shape of those airways. Not only does this cause noisy breathing and heavy panting, but unfortunately, it also means that the dog is in a constant state of discomfort. Other common health issues that Frenchies can suffer from include allergies, skin conditions, back problems, eye, dental and ear related issues, ulcers as well as luxating patellas which means that the kneecaps temporarily slip out of place. It's not ideal at all and this means that with a Frenchie in your home you are most likely going to be seeing a lot of your vet for one reason or another and even though the French Bulldog is a small dog breed these conditions can cause huge vet bills. Also you will absolutely Absolutely need to put in the time on the grooming front, like cleaning your dog's ears and skin folds to avoid any kind of infections. So if you are looking for a robust and healthy dog to bring into your life, you should definitely not be getting a French Bulldog. So in our number three spot, and that is to do with the French Bulldogs not traveling well. The French's numerous health problems that we just discussed leads us nicely into this reason at number three, why they may not be a good fit for you. And that is because again of that brassiophallic nature of the breed. They should never be transported on airplanes whatsoever. The peculiar shape of their airways can lead to death, which is why many airlines refuse to transport French Bulldogs as well as any other bully type or brassiophallic breeds. Also, they are prone to heat stroke. French Bulldogs do simply not make good travel companions. Again, you can find different solutions for your vacation time, like having a family member take care of the dog in your absence. But if you want a canine companion who can safely join you on extended trips and holidays in very different climates and environments then you should probably not be getting a french bulldog as that traveling companion 
Now, as many owners can attest, French Bulldogs can be rather stubborn and difficult to train, which takes us to number two. Even though positive reinforcement usually will give you some results, if you want a very trainable dog whom you can teach many different commands and tricks, then you should not be getting a French Bulldog whatsoever. Now, also, if you are a very active person and you would like your canine companion to join you on a variety of different long walks and hikes, then again, this is not the right breed for you. Frenchies are very prone to overheating, again that brassiophallic issue, and should absolutely not be exercised much in warm weather. As well, that snub-nosed little face makes breathing a very difficult for them in all weathers, and again, the more exercise we do, the more this gets. So that takes us to the number one spot, and that is that would you like your French Bulldog to guard your apartment or house? They are Bulldogs after all, right? Well, the answer is yes and no. And let me explain. Whilst the ancestors of the French Bulldog are indeed fearsome, aggressive bull killers of ancient England, today's Frenchie is a very mellow and warm-hearted dog towards everyone. Now, this does not mean that you cannot teach them to sound an alarm where appropriate. They are quite intelligent and may well reward your training efforts with a few barks whenever a person approaches your front door. However, their immensely friendly nature makes them rather unlikely to effectively scare unwanted intruders off. Not only are French Bulldogs small of stature, but they also have far too loving little hearts to take a guarding role too seriously at all. If you are interested in a very reliable guard dog or at least a good watch dog then you should not be really considering a French bulldog for that role. So the world famous French bulldog is an amazing breed whose compact size makes it the perfect canine companion for many dog lovers but as is the case with any dog breed they are not suited for every kind of personal lifestyle. Should any of those five reasons why you should not get a French bulldog apply to you then do not give up on your dream of owning one. Perhaps at a later point in time the adorable Frenchie will be the perfect canine companion for you but we have to make sure that it's the right dog at the right time. Now I hope you enjoyed that video today if so make sure you hit that like button get involved down in the comment section below and if you are here don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so that you never miss a future episode of the french bulldog show